Hello and welcome to this brand new video. What are the most interesting trading books? For those of you who are new to this field, we are going to recommend some of the best books on trading, focusing primarily on systematic trading. Before we do that though, if you want to receive the PDF where we discuss these books in more detail, just leave a comment below with the word books. One of the coaches at the Younger Academy here, and as always, I ask you please support us by leaving a like, subscribe to our channel, and click on the notification bell. Thank you so much. All right, so uh, where to start? Well, after careful consideration, we came up with a book we think every systematic trader should have. Let's talk about Perry Kaufman's Trading Systems and Methods, now in its sixth edition. So it can be considered a fundamental stepping stone in the trading world. It is basically a true encyclopedia of trading. In this book, you'll find various trading mythologies. The author is knowledgeable in so many areas that even though he focuses on systematic trading, his book is considered a kind of trading Bible. And what's great about this book is it's full of examples and easy language code. There's lots of statistical studies, indicators and trading systems, and I think you'll find it very interesting. Now, for the second book, Robert Carver's Systematic Trading. The author is a renowned hedge fund manager. So it's written by someone who knows what he's talking about. Now, I've got to admit, when this book first came out, which I think was around 2015, it didn't excite me that much when I first read it. The reason is mainly because the trading that the author proposes is very different from the kind of trading that we teach here at the Younger Academy. Although this is a book that studies trading using a systematic approach, it needs to be said that this approach is more long term. Basically, his experiences with hedge funds, and it's difficult for these large institutions to time the market. So short term trades are less common, um, especially in significant funds. So it's a different way of trading than what we teach here and you know what I personally prefer. Anyway, it's a solid book on systematic trading that deals in an intellectually honest way uh, about what is and what isn't possible to achieve in terms of results. Topics covered range from volatility in the context of trading systems, the statistical validity of tests, overfitting, and the importance of diversification. In addition, the author also offers two of his proprietary strategies, which are explained in great detail, so definitely a plus for anyone interested in this type of trading. Let's switch genres now and move to Mark Douglas's Trading in the Zone, in the realm of trading-related psychology now. This is an area where you can find undoubtedly many books, many of which I personally say are of little value, precisely because people often overlook the statistical advantage, which is indispensable to succeed in the markets, and instead put too much emphasis on the psychological aspect, which certainly has its importance, but without a real advantage or a method in the markets, it's just not possible to make money. If you stay in this area, this is definitely an interesting book, the focus is on the negative impact that our emotions can have on our daily actions. In this book, the author makes a clear distinction between a novice trader who is basically at the mercy of his emotions and a profitable trader who is able to deal with his emotions, especially the negative ones properly, especially the emotions associated with loss. An experienced trader can accept those losses, manage those emotions, understand that part of the game and stick to the trading plan, which is, of course, the most important thing. Loss management and the importance of having a plan and following it shouldn't be taken for granted, especially for beginners. A lack of experience and unmanaged emotions can have a strong impact on our trading activities. Let's change genres now and turn to the field of volatility trading. For this reason, I'd like to suggest a book that impressed me when I first read it. It's called Volatility Trading by Ewan Sinclair. The focus in this book is, of course, volatility, and it's a fascinating book. I must admit, it's a little complex. I had quite a bit of trouble understanding the concepts at first, but once I cracked it, I have to say it opened up whole new horizons for me. The focus on volatility concerns instruments such as options and implied volatility derivatives, so VIX, futures or ENTs that are linked to volatility. Um, and as I told you, it can open up new trading horizons because they are particular instruments that are undoubtedly risky but they offer opportunities that you can't find in other fields. For those more interested in classic long-term investing, I would suggest Dual Momentum Investing by Gary Antonacci. This is a very simple book focusing on long-term investing, but with a systematic approach. 
In the text, you'll even find back tests, which are not so common in the field of investing. The author proposes a trend-following method applied to instruments like EFTs, which are accessible to everyone and have a great advantage of having very low management fees. The book is straightforward and clear, even for those who have never traded, and this is one of the reasons why I'm suggesting it to you. The author shares completely in the text the trading rules for replicating the strategies shown in the book, so I really recommend it. As the summer approaches, I thought of a few books that are a little easier, but still deal with trading and leave you with something tangible. So, you know, not just a waste of time to read on the beach. So I suggest Hedge Fund Market Wizard by Jack Swager, one of the best known authors in the field of trading, especially in trading stories. In this book, he interviews top hedge fund managers. And I must say, through these interviews, you can learn a little bit more about this world. Get behind the scenes, look at the industry, and also get some useful insights. Different types of operations are compared and presented in a very compelling way. In the book, you'll find that successful approaches can be very different. All of these have in common good habits, such as careful risk management, psychological well-being in trading style, or the fact that you must learn from the mistakes you inevitably will make during trading. So sticking with a little bit of light reading by the pool or the beach this summer, I'd like to suggest one of the books that impressed and engaged us the most, because it's a very engaging story. It's the true story of Edward O'Thorpe, and the title of the book is A Man for All Markets. It's an autobiographical book, the focus of which is on trading stories, and it's the experience of an American mathematician professor who goes from gambling to trading. He used methods that enabled him to turn the odds in his favour, even when gambling. He was one of the first to invent the simple method of counting cards in blackjack and to take advantage of the inefficiencies of some roulette machines. Look, I don't want to give too much away, so I'm going to just stop talking about the book right there. It is interesting to understand how mathematics and trading are connected. So much that he was able to make a fortune in the markets. He was able to exploit, within a reasonable range, the inefficiencies in the markets and use them to his advantage. And he did this long before Black and Scholes, who won the Nobel Prize for their formula on option pricing. It's a truly compelling story of a brilliant mind. Now we come to the latest book, The Successful Trader's Guide to Money Management, Proven Strategies, Applications and Management Technique by Andrea Unger. For those of you who don't already know, Andrea Unger not only won the World Cup Trading Championships four times, but is also the author of one of the milestones in money management. So a book that has been translated into different languages, it's become a bestseller over the years and is considered by everyone in the industry to be indispensable when it comes to money management. In the book, Andrea describes several operational methods for calculating the correct position sizing, namely how much capital should be used in individual trades. Money management is an essential aspect of managing the risk one faces when trading in the financial markets. Most traders focus on identifying the best operational setups, which is undoubtedly important, but the risk and money management aspect is often overlooked. The book is full of practical examples to help the reader understand in detail the various methods presented. And finally, it includes suggestions for building and designing trading systems. And these are the reasons why it has become a fundamental cornerstone for money management over the years. If you want to learn more about these books, you can request the PDF we've prepared for you, including a description of each one. Just leave a comment with the word books. On the other hand, if you're interested in learning more about how we teach trading using Andrea Unger's methods here at the Unger Academy, I recommend clicking on the link in the description below. From there, you'll be able to get a free copy of Andrea Unger's other best-selling book, The Unger Method, where he explains step-by-step -step how his trading method works. And that's the method he used to win the World Cup Trading Championships four times. The book is free, and you only have to pay the shipping costs to get it. You can also use the same link to access a free presentation by Andrea Unger or book a free strategy consultation with one of our tutors. Well, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video. Goodbye for now.